Hello students, in today's session we are going to discuss the process of photosynthesis in higher plants. Before that, let me tell you children, we should appreciate presence of plants and trees around us. In totality, the plant kingdom is really important for us. Of course, it gives us food, shade, many other things in addition to oxygen which we definitely require for our respiration. So what this photosynthesis is? This is the process by which the plants will make their own food and also food for us. In addition will give us oxygen also. Oxygen and food and also for shelter we use plants plant material to make houses and other things. Coming to the food first, the tree is making food through photosynthesis. That means tree is able to use light as energy to make its own food. Think of the food chain which is operating on this earth. Food chain on earth begins from sun, then comes the tree and after tree or vegetation will come the first organism which will eat the food produced by plant and then other animals which have eaten on these animals. For example, if wheat is produced in the field, now wheat plant had taken sunlight through photosynthesis and produced the food in the form of wheat grains. Now this wheat grain is suppose eaten by rat, the rat was eaten by cat, cat was eaten by dog and dog is eaten by some other bigger animal. All these are placed in the food chain one after another depending upon who is eating whom. But if you try to understand in detail whatever the point of eating food may be there but eventually it is coming from sun. Suppose cat has eaten the rat, then rat had eaten wheat and wheat was coming from plant and plant could make it through sunlight. So what I am trying to make you understand children is that photosynthesis is the process which makes it possible for food chain to run on earth and also food web. Coming to photosynthesis, this is a process where plant will use carbon dioxide, water in the presence of sunlight will convert it to starch which is stored in the plant and it is glucose is stored as a starch and oxygen is given out. We have to understand the process, how it is happening, how oxygen is produced, what is the source of oxygen in this reaction. First of all, this is possible in plant only in green areas, especially leaf, which has pigment, which can trap sunlight. But yes, any part of the plant which is green in color may be able to perform this activity of photosynthesis to some extent, but we know that main green part of the plant is leaf. Photosynthesis which is a physico chemical process. Physical because physically light is trapped into the plant and chemical because chemical reaction is taking place for production of food and oxygen. And it is only possible in case of green plants. You can see in this slide that food we can get only for plant. Only green plants can enter into the process of photosynthesis. And as I told you, it is a physical chemical process and use of light energy is must. Presence of sun is must. Please appreciate the presence of sun in our system. And synthesis of organic compound will mean synthesis of food in the plant which is in the form of carbohydrate. 
with this background we move forward to understand the process of photosynthesis for photosynthesis to occur the major requirement is sunlight which plants are trapping from sun then the carbon dioxide which we are giving out in our respiratory process we are taking in oxygen giving out carbon dioxide and then water as is shown in this diagram in this slide the water is absorbed by plant roots and it moves towards the leaves towards the apex of the tree so it is available in the leaf carbon dioxide is absorbed from atmosphere and when these two items are available that is h2o water and co2 carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight it is converted to glucose or carbohydrate c6h12o6 plus oxygen o2 what is the source of oxygen in this is it h2o or is it co2 because both the items are having oxygen it is proved beyond doubt that the source is water the oxygen which is given out by plant which we use for respiration the source is h2o and not co2 so these are the basic requirement for photosynthesis which are met with if one of the three is not available then photosynthesis is not possible that is why during the night time when sun is not there photosynthesis will not take place at this point of time children i would also like you to know that plants also do respiration like we do and as far as respiration is concerned whether it is plant or whether it is animal or whether it is you we take in oxygen we give out carbon dioxide that means plants while doing respiration are taking oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide and while doing photosynthesis taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen now try to relate it with plant day and night conditions during day time when sun is available definitely photosynthesis is going on and plant is consuming carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen then plant is taking oxygen for respiration and giving out carbon dioxide also this is happening during the day now what is happening in the night plant is doing respiration taking oxygen giving out carbon dioxide but not doing photosynthesis so not taking carbon dioxide and not giving out oxygen during day time if you sit under the tree or go under the tree or go in a garden or in a forest you feel fresh because there is more oxygen than the carbon dioxide of course plant is taking little bit of oxygen for respiration and giving carbon dioxide but the same plant is using the same carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and giving out lot of oxygen but if you are sitting under the tree during night after some time you will feel suffocated or disturbed or little difficult why because now plant is not giving out oxygen it is only giving out carbon dioxide because it is only doing respiration in absence of sunlight no photosynthesis that is why it is advised that do not go to garden or forest in night and do not sleep under the tree during the night time in this diagram you can see that there is a plant the roots are shown which are absorbing water from soil and carbon dioxide is taken from atmosphere and there's sun the light of which is trapped by the leaves and photosynthesis is going on so children now this is a time to understand the photosynthetic machinery we know photosynthesis is important and it is going on in a green plant but how also we know that sunlight water and carbon dioxide are required for photosynthesis but then we must know how this is made possible first step is trapping the sunlight and that is achieved by plant by chlorophyll the chlorophyll which is present in chloroplast 
in the leaf. That chloroplast is doing this job of trapping the sunlight. Once light is available, then carbon dioxide is made to come inside and the light reaction proceeds, results into the formation of starch. I think I am repeating this part that glucose or carbohydrate is stored in plant in the form of starch. In photosynthesis, the plant is making carbohydrate. So children, we have understood that sunlight is the main basic requirement for photosynthesis. The next point to understand is carbon dioxide, which is another requirement for photosynthesis to occur. Certain simple experiments were done in past to confirm this fact. As the diagram shows, there is one bell jar in that there is one candle burning and there is one rat alive. Rat is trying to breathe with the oxygen available in bell jar. Now this candle is burning using the oxygen in the bell jar. So oxygen is being used by two, by burning of candle, by this rat in respiration. Now red is also giving out carbon dioxide and candle burning is also giving out carbon dioxide. After some time, carbon dioxide will accumulate in bell jar. So red will die because red is not getting oxygen to breathe and candle will also not burn any further because candle is not getting oxygen to burn. This experiment proved that for respiration, we definitely need oxygen and we are giving out carbon dioxide and any burning process oxygen is consumed and carbon dioxide is given out. Using this information in the background one more experiment was planned. In the bell jar one candle burning, one rat alive and one small mint plant. Now if you use your past knowledge the rat is utilizing oxygen for respiration giving out carbon dioxide, candle is using oxygen for burning and giving out carbon dioxide. Now this mint plant it is consuming this carbon dioxide given by red and the candle and giving out oxygen instead. So in the second bell jar you can see the red did not die and candle also did not stop burning because oxygen was made available to candle and to the red by this mint plant. By this two things were proved that carbon dioxide is definitely required by plant for photosynthesis and in turn plant is definitely giving out oxygen. So utility of carbon dioxide for photosynthesis was proved not only for photosynthesis also for our livelihood because we can't go on producing carbon dioxide and then live in that carbon dioxide atmosphere. We need oxygen and for that we need plants. Children try to understand value of plants around you. Without that we cannot make our life possible. So children we have discussed part of photosynthesis in the plant kingdom. We have also appreciated the presence of plants around us and the basic requirement for photosynthesis which are sunlight, carbon dioxide and water. We have understood that plants are source of food on earth for food chain and for our respiration and also for cycle of oxygen on earth. Life of animals and human is impossible without the presence of plants. In the next episode, we will discuss how chlorophyll helps in the process of photosynthesis and where chlorophyll is exactly present in the leaf and what is the mechanism of light and dark reaction. With this, we come to the end of the session. Thank you.